Hi everyone, Brycon here, back with another video, and today we're going to dump LSAS the kamikaze way. And why do I say the kamikaze way? Because we're going to get detected. So depending on how badly you need this during your pen test or during your engagement, you can hope that the adversary is not watching. You're still going to be able to get what you need to get to move forwards, but you will get caught, most likely. So pretending that you're not going to get caught, probably not a great idea, but you will get the artifact you want. So let's take a look at this. We're using Dark Matters Dump That LSAS. You have to compile this. It's a C++ application. Once you've compiled it, uh, you then just, it's a standard executable. Every time I've added packing or, or try to obfuscate this, AV's eaten it. But this time it works just as straight up compile. So I will, I've got Windows Defender here on this box. You can see this is Defender. Uh, AV services are, are enabled. You can see we just got firewall turned off, virus and pre threat, protect, threat, threat protection are on. Uh, cloud delivered services are on. We'll turn it all on just to make sure. On, on, on. And then what we're going to do, we're going to run our mini dump.exe. And Defender is going to not eat this process. And it creates a dump file right here. But in a second, you're going to see, there it goes, it caught it. So caught it. But that does not mean you didn't get the artifact you needed. You have your dump file. Now, CrowdStrike Falcon does the same thing here. It's really interesting. Uh, it seems like this particular program, it is not able to be stopped by AV protection policies, but the detection will get you, right? If somebody sees LSAS dump happening in, in CrowdStrike, they're probably going to alert. But if you run into Defender, Defender doesn't have a centralized console. So odds are you would get the artifact you need. So if I try to open this on this box, it won't let me do so. It'll say this has a virus, but if I just choose a file here and I upload this to my Kali box, and we'll just put this in here like this, just like that. We'll grab our C4D file that's created and we'll choose upload. So that's uploading and we've uploaded that. So we jump over here to our host with CrowdStrike Falcon sensor on it. It does the same behavior. So it doesn't stop it, but it does alert. So we'll go ahead and we'll CD over into desktop. And then we'll run mini dump. And there it goes, same behavior. In a minute, it'll create that dump file. It's taking a second here. And there it is. There's our dump file. But notice CrowdStrike grabbed it too. So if you really need to dump LSAS, you can do it with this method. You might get caught, which is interesting. But, you know, if it's Defender, we're taking a look. So we'll go over here to our Kali Linux box now. We'll kill off our, our updog. And we should now have a file that is a temp file, which we have from our upload. So now we can just use Pi by Cats LSA mini dump, and then we'll dump that out. And you can see it's going to pop out all the creds. So it legitimately got the creds from LSAS, and dumped them out. Uh, this has been harder and harder to do recently, but this was done with an executable, which is really interesting. Usually I'd have to do this with PowerShell or some other method to, to dump creds, right? But this was a straight executable just compiled. So it's pretty cool that this works. But yeah, shout out to uh, Dark Matter there. That's a pretty interesting way of obfuscation and, and uh, uh, dumping the LSS process. And that's it for this week's Red Team Tip. I'll leave you once again with Hack the Planet to defend better. Thank you.